Hi guys, so I'm going to be doing um, a video of Drunk Elephant and what products are safe for you know, like tweens. And that before we get into what products are safe for tweens, we're going to do what products are safe for kids, so under nine. Now, the only product that's safe is this, oh, sorry, not that, lippy balm. Now, this is simple, but if you want to spend $30 on a lip balm, go for it for kids and tweens. But, yeah, that's something what kids can have. Now, let's move on to tweens, which is 10 to 12, and I'm turning 10 in a couple of weeks, so I'm technically a tween. First, the famous, wait, no, the lippy balm safe, then the famous Lala Retro Root Cream Moisturizer. This is, like, like the ultimate thing that, when you think of a, a safe product for um, tweens, first thing comes in my mind is Lala Retro Root Cream. I don't know what is yours, but this is definitely mine. How have I seen the price range? Hundred dollars for this moisturizer? Oh, no, no. But the thirty-three dollar one is a good option, except it is so small. I don't even know why. Next product is this Big Hydro Intense Hydrating Serum with a price, but it is pretty big product, and I am getting this for my birthday. And I can see how all these twins, in also me, love it because the top, like the way that it opens, it just kills me how good it is. But guys, this is safe because it has, what, what is it that has the hydronic acid, I think it is? Is this, no, hydronic acid, I think it is. Hydronic, hydronic acid, I think it's hydronic acid. Like, but that's what most, like, products are made at with hydronic acid. Now, these the Bonzi um, drops is safe. Six dollars is not bad, but yeah. This would be definitely a summer item, but since in Australia it's going into winter, I would not buy that. Um, now this, the big goldie drops, however, are not safe for kids. It has salicylic acid, I think. It's the word on the bottom. Niacinamide's fine, but like on the bottom, that word. Yeah. And then this Bora Barry Recur Cream is okay. Just look at the price. Look at the price. Tell me, why would you spend $100.15 on this cream that I don't even know what would do for you? Now, guys, if you want to get this, you can. I'm just giving you some advice. If you start getting, like, a reaction, like, or, like, you start getting pimples, maybe stay away from it. Like, give it to an older person like, who needs it. Like, mums or that. Now, this Bestie Jelly Cleanser is, oh, my God, the best tween item. Even kid, probably, because, like, everybody needs to wash their face from dirt or sunscreen. And the price range is not that bad. Now, guys, I wish we were in America because they got the drunk elephant, like, some SPF, but we didn't have that. However, this is not a good product, especially look at the price. And, and guys, you want to see the even, but that's, this is, this is the, this is the small version. That's the big version. Who would spend $200 on, like, I don't even know what would do to you. But, yeah, not nah, not. Nah. This drunk elephant <coughs> little 6.0 is like, like, I'd actually get this, even though it's like expensive. I'd actually get this because you could try some products. Plus, it has that, that, and that, and that. That is safe. And then the other two, the orange and the, like, magenta, eh. Give it to your mom or just you wait for two older. This proteiny polypeptide cream is not safe. Also, also the price. Definitely no, no, because it has polypeptides plus protein. And this fresh day serum, no, no, no. Because it has, I think, vitamin C in it. Okay, guys. Now, let's go in with this. This Drunk Elephant version muscle luxury face oil, the Marilla oil. It's it's safe for kids, but it's really expensive. Plus, you can find a good ordinary dupe from Priceline that has more oil, oil. like And, like, other brands would have a really good dupe for this that just slays. I'm getting this for my birthday. Love this. It's $46. Not bad. Like, low-key, pretty packaging. Not bad. Now, this is a safe because, like, you can try two products and see if you like them and see what happens to them, happens to your face. Now, this makeup melting butter cleanser, it's, like, safe for kids. It's nothing special, guys. I wouldn't spend $56 on a, melt, like, a m makeup melting butter cleanser when you can get something better. Even I appreciate they put an extra product in there. <coughs> These eye creams, that one, I think there is, the, all the eye creams. That one, eye serum, that one. They're all not safe for kids, so stay away from those eye creams. However, this Oro Blue Rosy Drops, 
what the third drops is safe like it's like <clears throat> they wanted to do a skincare version of drop drops the deodorant safe for kids the drunk of it you want to spend nearly thousand dollars on that sure these four products here aren't safe i guess i don't think these ones are okay i guess that one's no that one's obviously no i already said that and that one's yes and guys, we still have a little bit more, but I don't think we should do it because it's mostly like the boring stuff. And but guy, and by the way, make sure to click the subscribe button, like the video if you want me to do some of these, like some more of these videos, because I actually love doing them. And bye, guys. Slow.